Well, hello everybody, Mike Garmin Productions here, and today I'll be reviewing the Sons of Garmin on Headquarters set from Ninjago. This seems like a really interesting set. It seems to have lots of cool features and interesting minifigures. We have about like five minifigures and a motorbike. And so yeah, basically this design looks really interesting and there's a lot to review. Not to mention, we also have one of those Spinjitsu spinners in this set. But first, I'm going to review the box. Alright guys, so this is the box for the Sons of Garmadon Headquarters set. We got Lloyd and his golden spinner there. He's fighting against that saw blade. And then we have a motorcycle guy coming out. And we also have Zane and Ultraviolet fighting for the Ani Mask. And then we also have that one tiny guy in that wheel. We have Lloyd Garmadon there. Okay, the set number is 70640 with 530 pieces and 5 minifigures. Okay, now let's check the back side. Okay, so this is what the back of the box looks like. You can see Lloyd there doing a really cool spin jitsu trick. And then down here it displays more stuff about the set and the spin jitsu tricks. And you can see down there those are the new spinners of 2018, the new spin jitsu sets. Okay, now on top of the box, you can see the five minifigures, Lloyd, Ultraviolet, you know, etc. Okay, so the first minifigure to review is Lloyd, in his ultimate spinjitsu form. The top of the mask kind of looks like his Ninjago movie mask. You can see here the green headband and the black. And then we have his angry face, then we got his happy face, and he has a green scarf on. You can also see the detail of his energy coming out of him with the black pants. Then he's holding like silver shurikens which look very nice. And we also got like his energy coming out from his symbol on the back. Looks really good for that figure. Next main figure to review is Zane in his undercover suit. I think he's called the Snake Jaguar. I'm not really sure. He's got his Ninjago movie hair. And he has his Ninjago movie face. You can see him angry. And he also has a black scarf. And then the torso you see down there, it's got like purple and blue, it's all techy and futuristic with grey pants. He has like dual swords on the back, and he doesn't have any sleeves. Looks very nice, and I can't wait to see how this plays out. Next minifigure is Ultraviolet. This time she does not have her Ani mask, not like the last video. She has one black ponytail on the back of her head, and she also has like, you can see her face. She's like smiling creepily, and she also has a purple scarf. And she's also got those blade thingies for her weapons. She's also got this nice purple jacket with the Sons of Garminon logo on the back. Looks better than the one from Ninja Nightcrawler. Okay, and then we have this guy who's basically like a thug for the army. He's got a black crowbar and a red sword as his weapon. He also has like an interesting looking face. Very cunning. With a helmet. And then he has a Sons of Garminon print on the back of his jacket. And he has this gray pants with futuristic purple stuff on his torso. Very interesting figure. And then we have Chopper Maroon, which is basically a Sons of Garmadon thug that's really short. He's got a red sword as a weapon. And then for his head, you can see like it's got all around white and he doesn't look happy. He also has like red hair on the top. Looks interesting and he's got a black scarf with skeleton printing all over his jacket. And on the back, he's got the Sons of Garmadon logo. The very interesting part is that he has short legs. Bet they all call him Shorty. And then here we have Lloyd Garmadon in his golden spinner. You can see her at the base, it's got the Lloyd symbol, the energy symbol with gold and green all around it. On the sides it's got gold and green you can see. Looks very nice, like he's becoming the golden ninja and the green ninja. He's also got this ripcord that when I pull it out, he can basically spin out. And then here's his spinner, similar to the Air Jitsu spinner, but it has a different design. The minifigure inside the glass is definitely like the Air Jitsu spinner though. The main difference is it doesn't fly. Watch when I pull out the ripcord. You see how it's spinning really fast? It's not flying out of the air, but it looks really cool. I'm actually really surprised that this came in the set. There are more of these to collect, but they don't come in the LEGO sets. They come like, they're like basically standalone sets. But I'm really impressed with what this Sons of Garment on Headquarters set has to offer. And then here we have a motorbike from the Sons of Garment on group. It has black wheels with red. And also has like silver on the side. And then, yep, you can see there. 
And then you can see the cockpit where you like basically put the driver in. It doesn't really balance well. Hold on. There we go. That's how the driver would be piloting, basically. I mean, driving it. It's also got a light up there, and that's really cool. So it basically can see where it's going. Very good motorcycle. And here we go. The actual Sons of Garmadon lair, or headquarters. This is how they get in and out. They got these big metal doors with signs, keep out. You can see, like, the wood on them. The keep and the out. Really good design. And then we have those small flags with symbols, or banners. And then on the top of the gateway, we have the legendary Ani mask, Ultraviolet's mask. For some reason, I was not expecting this to come in the set. Okay, now let me show you, like, what it looks like when they come in and out. Here's the motorcycle, so basically, like, he drives in and drives out. That's what the small ramp is for. And then here on this side, we got, like, this workshop, I guess, with a wrench and a coffee mug. And we also have a tiny light, so whoever's working there can see. And we also got this epic saw blade. It can, like, grind up enemies really good. You see, like, how it can spin? Hold on. If I control this tiny mechanism, it allows me to spin it really fast. That's very amazing. And then we have this wheel with a hammer. Hammers? I don't know why that's there, though. And then we got this poster with a world tour sign and where minifigures can stand. Then we got the Sons of Garmadon logo since they really like Garmadon. It can fold and we also have a light there. And then we basically have a prison cell here with all these buttons and stuff. You can see the cell like on the side and this is what it looks like inside so that's where a prisoner would go. Now let me put in that guy. Uh, that would basically be where he would fit. Then we got a wheel here where a minifigure could stand. Let me put someone on. There we go, see? And now if I move it like so, it's moving really fast, so the minifigure could like... I don't know. We also got this street light with red and green. At least I think it's a street light. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks cool. But anyway, yeah, this is basically a really good set. Well, okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked and enjoyed. Also, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you around.